Now, my daughter has made some mistakes in her life, this being one of them, and um, I still love her. She's still my daughter. And so we are going to throw her the best party. Do you understand that? Absolutely, sir. Now, you're going to be a butler. Butler. And you're going to be a good butler. Me, sir. Now, let's go to work. <clears throat> Late as usual. So long. Uncle Fiddle? Yes. Brother Victor. Good to see you. Hello. Ah, hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Bless you. Oh, sorry, I don't believe in things like that. Right. Hello. Do I, do I know you? The last time you saw me, you left me to the Germans. Now, everyone! I heard Harry is something of a magician on the keys, and uh, he is an excellent piano. I think they would get out of it. Now, will you regale us with some beautiful music? Yahoo! Kenny! Kenny! What's that? Alright. Do you have to do that in here? I, I was just sweeping the or... This! Is my daughter's engagement party. Right, Do you then. understand that? Yes, bye. Now, can you leave? Bye, bye then. Please begin. your stick on the table, uncle. No, I'm just a feeble old man. It was him. Look what the war did to him. The bombs and the tanks and the planes. And it was Harry who left him to nearly get killed by the Germans. He brought revenge. It couldn't have been me. It was him. But I was knocked out. That's ridiculous. It was clearly her. It wasn't me. It was him. You. May I intervene? I have reasons to believe that Lord Alfred is the man we are looking for. What? What? What grounds do you have to back this outrageous claim up? Well, in a recent conversation we had, sir, you said this. Hello, Perkins. Do you think um, my daughter's fiancé is in any way an inconvenience? He threatened to sack me twice yesterday, sir. How interesting. I mean, if he came to some unfortunate accident... Why, what would we have to gain? What would we have, given we have so much to lose? Well, that's very interesting, isn't it, Butler? Yes, sir. We might discuss this later along with some other business opportunities you may have. 
She. She was the one being all shifty. She lied to all of us. When? Just there at the party. You were saying you were some duchess or something. Should have been in the kitchens the whole time. It wasn't me. It was Kenneth. He's not even here. Who's Kenneth? Do you think you were to him? I was a few steps away. And how, why are you at the party? How do you know him? Well, I'm the village vicar, so obviously I've seen him around. He's never come to a service, though. And do you think there's any reason why I think you did it? Well, there shouldn't be, because I didn't. And finally, is there anybody in this village who you think might kill him? Well, that was this one incident a few weeks ago. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. I'll go get us a drink to celebrate. Well, hello there. Oh, it's been a while. It has. What you found? Thank you. Ah, I heard you were getting married. God bless your happy marriage. Go away. Just leave it. How long have you known Harry and Victor? Well, all of their lives. I'm their uncle. I was there for Victor's birth. Well, I, I hate to say this, but I did always favour Victor. I was planning to give my inheritance to him. Seems now that that's the only option. I don't okay. taste this. Nearly as bad as when I was, when Livingston got attacked by a rhino after he caught malaria in, in the Amazon jungle. It was, oh, yes, sorry. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I trailed off. Yes. Um, and finally, has there been any events or anybody saying something or doing something? Do you think you may have had something to do with your nephew, with your nephews? Well, there was that cook. I met her during the party. I thought she was some duchess or something, but she was actually just a cook. She was lying to us all. So, I don't know if that may, means anything to you, but it's just something suspicious. Thank you for your time. And I'll think about what you've said. Okay. So, Cook, how long have you been employed by this household? Ten years. And do you like the house? No. Do you like the people in the house? No. What about Harry? Eh. He's new in here, isn't he? I think I have a pretty good idea. Who did it? I just thought she would die! die. die. Last time you saw me, you left me. Why, what would we have to gain? What would we have, given we have so much to lose? Bless you, bless you. Oh, sorry, I don't believe in things like that. 
Right, right. <clears throat> this was you. Me? I'm just victim. How could I have done it anyway? I was knocked out. No one knocked you out. You hit yourself over a head with a stone to create an alibi. Oh, okay, yes, I did it. But at least I'm glad, and I did you all a favour. None of you liked him, you all hated him. It was complete pain up the... Posterior. My, 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 my tongue. But he deserved to have his head splattered on a piano. But I lived in his shadow my whole life. It was always Harry the Amazing One, Harry the Perfect One. I learned to play piano long before Harry, but of course, because Harry's amazing, his talent meant he took an hour to master everything. He was the most incompatible human being I've ever met him. Even his fiance didn't love him. Fine. I accept defeat.